Hello there ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between. TacticalBacon00 here bringing you a brand new tutorial on how to use your DualShock 4 controller as an X input device. You may have followed my previous tutorial using X360CE as the X input wrapper. This new program has fewer bugs, glitches, and is much more compatible with all of your games. First off, credit goes to InHexter from the PCSX2 forums for creating this wonderful program. Thanks, I really appreciate your work. The first thing that you're going to need to do is download the zip file in the description of the video that will contain all of the files that you need to run this program. After you do that, run scpdriver.exe from the virtual bus driver folder that is in that zip file. Click the install button to install the virtual bus driver. This allows you to have a virtual Xbox controller inside your computer. Once that's finished, go ahead and connect your DualShock 4 controller through Bluetooth or USB. If you don't know how to connect it through Bluetooth, it's very simple, just push and hold the PS button and the share button and hold that until the light starts flashing. Then you can add it just like any other Bluetooth device. Once the actual DualShock 4 controller is connected, start scpserver.exe from the root of that folder and it will plug in the virtual Xbox controller and emulate it using the DualShock controller that you physically have. The only problem that I've experienced with this is that both the DualShock 4 controller that you physically hold and the virtual Xbox controller within the computer both pick up at the same time. Some games that read both controllers, such as the direct input from the DualShock 4 controller and the virtual Xbox 360 controller at the same time will pull in double input. You can fix this by simply not running SCP server and just using the DualShock 4 controller natively with no special drivers and the game will pick it up normally. All right, now for some footage of me playing games using this program and showing you the latency and how accurate it can be. Keep in mind that it's still necessary to run the server software while the game is running. Otherwise, the controller will not be mapped to an X input device. If you like this tutorial or any of my other videos, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps me out a bunch. I'll see you next time. Bacon. Out. We're ready, sir. Give me some speed.